Okay, so this is our last test of the upgrade just to see how fast does it go now. So I have maxed out the speed on the motors. It's probably a little too fast, but it ended up being like 3750 on the velocity. So we want to do our tape measure test just like we did in the other video. I think the other video we calculated somewhere around 60 inches a minute. And that was running the, the steppers on the 24 volt power supply, running them wide open. They would occasionally stall at that speed, you know. So let's just see how fast can we get this guy. Um, I probably wouldn't run it this fast, but I just want to know. So what I had been doing is let it travel for 10 seconds, and then we're starting off at 10 inch mark. Let it travel for 10 seconds. And if it'll go to the 20 inch mark, that'd be 10 inches in 10 seconds. Okay, so we want to know inches per minute. So we multiply it by 6, and so we get 60 inches a minute. Well, I've already done this test, and I can tell you that I cannot, it will go all the way from one side to the other in just about 10 seconds. So let's run 5 seconds, and we will see how far this will go. So we'll get our stopwatch out. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let it count up when it gets up to 5 seconds or 10 seconds. I'll hit the button and it, when it gets to 5 seconds I'll let off. We'll do the math and we'll see what she goes. So I'll start this at the 5 second mark. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Okay, so that ran, uh, we started at 10 inches, we are at 22, if I can get that, we're at 22 and an eighth, the shadow's killing me, basically 22 inches. All right, let me get this back in the tripod here. So let me hit the, for it to go home. All right, so if that's 12 inches, so we can say if you get, uh, if that went 10 seconds, I would say it would go 24. So we could say uh, 24, times six so the machine will do 140 inches a minute um, that's not bad for a little China 6040 CNC machine I don't know of any of them out there that will do 140 inches a minute and with the uh, 600 ounce motors I guarantee you I could run at this speed all day so anyway that's proof enough right there some of the plastics and soft woods you really want to you know run that speed especially plastics because if you dwell around on the plastic you're going to start melting it so if you get a really good cutting bit and you really book it through the material you're not going to have any melted plastic um, this speed doesn't do any good if you're cutting aluminum so it's just nice to say my machine will do 140 inches a minute so anyhow that's the speed test that shows you that it's worth the upgrade right there